Okay, guys, that's it for right now. So I was probably about 12 years old, and I was alone in our living room, and I was watching a, a, a news magazine show, um, and they had a segment on uh, men who lived in San Francisco, and they had a shot of inside of a discotheque. And I, this would probably be the late 70s. And so all these shirtless, muscled men with handlebar mustaches were all dancing with each other. And I immediately just cringed. And I'm like, oh God, you know, I knew I was gay, but I absolutely was, I was just, you know, so put off by the, by the idea of two men dancing together. Just it was something I had never, had never seen before and just seemed so culturally odd to me. So my experience seeing that led me to believe that in main culture that this was not something that people were used to seeing or would be comfortable seeing. By my own reaction when I was a kid to seeing this and how uncomfortable I was, I thought working on a project on um, men who dance together could actually be a really good, you know, step forward in visibility being accepted. I grew up in a conservative area. The first time I saw, I actually went to a dance club and saw men dancing together. You know, again, it was extremely difficult for me to see and it was slow dancing, so it was even harder. To do this project was a way for me to work through some, uh, some still uh, underlying uncomfortable feelings about two men um, being intimate expressive with each other. I've always been very connected to older people since I was a teenager. Photographing older men was an opportunity for me to see what it was like to be an older gay man. Loving you, dear. There's just uh, a richness that happens to people as they get older. So it was a really great experience for me to be able to actually go, go to one of their socials and, and see them interact with each other and, and see their life. Hip hop was one of the last dances that I've covered in my series. Um, and partly because I know so very little about it. There's a strength to, to any dancer, there's a strength, but especially to a hip hop dancer. Two male dancers um, in the hip hop culture, to dance like that is, is a very brave thing to do. For this project, you have to actually dance with them. And so you have to get you have to get the feel of the dancer's rhythm and where they're gonna move. I knew when I was looking through the lens and I just watched the way their bodies were moving and they interacted with each other, that they were speaking a dialogue that was very specific to to them. It was flirtatious and sexual. Once I had a sense of that, um, I was like, this this is it. This is what I'm looking for. I've always loved to dance. It's a process of really letting go. So when I see two men dancing together, it really feels like acceptance to me.
because to dance you really can't be very very much in your head it's very primal it's very physical there, there's a certain authenticity to it that I find you know really intriguing and honest <laughs> 